All right, I'm in the finishing area of my shop. I have a little spray booth here with a spark-proof uh, exhaust fan, spark-proof wiring and lighting. You can see this. It's all sealed. I don't spray any volatile finishes anymore, except uh, every so often I'll do ultraviolet cure finish, which you only spray a couple of coats and you're done. And I have this lined in black paper for because sometimes when I spray the uh, ultraviolet cure, black paper doesn't reflect the ultraviolet light. Anyway, this is a little gizmo that I got at StuartMcDonald.com. It clamps into a vise, which you can't see. It's under there. And I jerry-rigged a little dowel to go into the end pin on this little Martin Tipple from the 1930s. And it rotates, and I'm doing a hand finish, a hand-applied vintage-style finish on this body after restoring it when it was totally shattered and broken. As you can see, this had been worked on in the past, and the top had significant damage under the fingerboard extension and in the bridge area. So that's all been leveled and rebuilt so there's solid wood and I'll be able to get good glue-to-glue -glue contact uh, between the surfaces. And the beauty of this little rotisserie is that you can apply the finish all around at the same time without having to wait for it to dry before you do the other side or the back or the top. You can do all at once. Anyway, once this is all back together, you won't see any of the damage on the top. The fingerboard extension will cover this area and the bridge will completely cover this area and it will be really beautiful again. And this hand applied finish will have the spirit, tone, and appearance of an old shellac finish. So there you have it. The little Stuart McDonald finishing rotating device. This right here is the same as a Fender guitar neck setup and they also have another one which I have here which you can put onto this rod that you can use for a neck joint on an acoustic body so there's all kinds of really neat ways to utilize this tool anyway uh, I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours and then apply another coat